Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101. Today I'm going to show you how to do this cute, it's a um, spiky kind of textury haircut. I don't even know what to call this. We, we should make a name for it. <laughs> it's the cat it's cut. Cat cut. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite haircuts that I do on all my clients. Um, cat is my favorite because her hair is amazing. Look at this. You have to get behind her. I have to get behind her. It's like platinum. Her hair is amazing. So we're going to tighten up the back, trim this up, and then up in here. And she's going to kind of grow these out on the sides. And would you want to do anything different with your bangs? Well, you're so girl. You, well, you're so good at deciding what it should ha happen. So, wait, however you think it should go, okay. you well, always know best. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wash her. All right, we are ready to start cutting. We are going to start in the back with this haircut. And one little tip is, if your client has blonde or light hair, you should usually use a black cape because it gives a contrast. Especially if the hair is hanging down over the cape, you'll be able to see. The line a little bit better and if they have dark or black or brown dark brown hair you're going to want to use like a silver or a white or a lighter colored cape so there's the tip for the day we're going to start back here and we do kind of a slight it's like a little bit of an a-line shape but but higher and so we're going to part it down the middle in the back And I like to just push the hair. I don't usually use clips if the hair's already this short. If I'm going from longer to short, then I'll tie it up with clips. But okay, so once you get the part in, I just take an angle and comb that hair up. And then the same thing on this side. And you want to make sure that the partings are clean and symmetrical. So if this goes to about there, you want to make sure that it goes the same, starts at the same point and ends at the same point on the other side. Okay. Combing's really important just to keep it clean, just make sure you direct the hair away from the part and that will keep your part open. I'm going to start with razoring the bottom out just to give it a soft look. So this is taking off about a half of an inch of length. And I always tell you this, but make sure there's not any moles or anything that you're going to scrape off with the razor because that would hurt. And make sure you have a guard if you're going to do that. Okay, so now we're going to start right here in the middle. And take up about an inch section. Keep your hand against the neck. And we're just going to cut off about half an inch to an inch. Okay, so that's going to serve as our guide in the middle. And we're going to part it back down the middle and then lift this section up. Follow that part line that you have. And you're going to lift it up and you're going to find your guide. And then point cut all the way down. And I always point cut cat's hair because we don't want to thin it too much afterwards. I don't really use a lot of razor or thin shears with her because she doesn't have super thick hair, but the point cutting still gives it the texture so that we don't have to go back in and do that. So same thing on the other side. I'm going to part it down the middle, lift this up, and I'm going to keep my hands at the same angle as that part and go up into the guide that I have set up here. Okay. And then down here I usually just kind of pick this up and make sure that I don't have any long pieces tucked underneath there. 
So we want that to be nice and tight. And this is as short as my fingers will let it. My hands are touching her head. And then I'm just kind of point cutting out anything that goes past my fingers. Now we're going to comb down the rest of this hair. I'm going to layer it up from this line that we've established with this guy. Okay, so starting in the middle, take this section straight out, and you're going to see right here there's a chunk of hair missing, and that's your guide. So you're going to cut up from that guide, and letting it kind of angle out just a little bit so we can leave some of the length on the top. You're going to do that all on the back. So just move over a little bit, taking half of that section, moving along to the right and then to the left. And try not to cut past that first knuckle. back nice and short now. We are going to take it up a little bit higher and we're going to do this area now in here, the crown. So she likes to spike this so I do deep point cutting. So I leave the hair inch and a half long and then I just kind of chip in. And then I can go ahead and pull sections coming horizontal this way now. So anything that reaches up. So you'll be able to see right here, there's the guide. And then there's where it doesn't reach anymore. Just cut off that tip. It's okay. It's just my like, <laughs> doing It's like it's in there somewhere. <laughs> We're well, not a dance party in the bed. All right, so now I'm going to take sections this way and make anything that meets up to this guide. Chop it off. Check it by pulling it up, making sure. And she wants her sides to grow, so we're not going to do too much with those this time. But of course, originally on the haircut, I pulled it out and up like that at an angle, so the left length on the bottom and shorter on the top. So that's where the that's where the angle for the layers are. It's, if you wanted to make them more layery, you could pull them out straight this way and chop into there, but we wanted to leave some length, so. I might play with them a little bit once we have it dry if they're too long anywhere, but that's the basic haircut. Even though we just trimmed her, you can still kind of see how you would shape out the rest of it. So you would take the, um, the sides and pull them up like this and point cut into them all the way along here until you match it up with the back on both sides. And then the front you would just, if it's really long that you're going from to short, you would take this up like this and make sure that you blend in the front to this 
shorter spike back here, and then you would do the bangs and the fringe. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, maybe I'll have to make another video cutting someone else's hair and the cat cut it shorter. But we'll see. Okay. I'm gonna blow dry this. Okay, so I just blow dry this forward and then this straight up and this down. And then you can go through and see if there's any spots that are too long or bugging you. So this haircut's really fun. You can style it all up in like a faux hawk with the sides down or you can pull everything forward and you can even try to like lay it down and have it be really soft. I like it spiky. It has a lot of different ways you can play with it because it has so much texture. Make sure if you're doing this on someone that has really thick hair, you will have to go through with the razor and the thinning shears and texture it out a lot. You still can make it look like this, so you're just going to have to do a lot more work. Um, but the most important thing with this haircut is to get lots of really cute detail like this that you're going to be able to pull around the face so that it keeps it soft. And you can flat iron it, but I think that the natural wave in her hair is just really pretty, so I'm not going to flat iron. Okay. Sorry about that. So this is my favorite product for hairstyles like this. It's called Enjoy Dry Wax, and it just looks like a really dull, sticky paste, and it's really hard to get out. As soon as it heats up a little bit, it comes out a lot easier, so you can blow dry it for a second and then rub your hands on it, or you can just rub your hands until it gets warm. If you have cold hands, usually the blow dryer helps out a little bit. But you just kind of stick it on your hands and you can texture out these little pieces around the face. You know, it is great. <laughs> Cute hair, Kenny. Does it feel good? Do you want me to change anything? No, it looks great. You always do great. Oh, thanks. You're just saying that. <laughs> oh, <not. laughs> I don't get stuck 25 times a week. <laughs> I know. Sure. Okay, hold on. There's one flat in the back. So, back here, you always want to make sure that you check your neckline before you send them off. It just looks a little bit thick and bulky right there. I'm just going to take it and shape it. Small adjustments. Don't be afraid to do small adjustments on your clients before they leave. It doesn't make you look like you don't know what you're doing. It just makes them happier because then they don't have to call you and say that something's bugging them. All right. Thank you so much, Pat. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope that this video helped you with your cutting. If you have any questions or requests, you can just leave a comment below. Make sure you like my videos and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.